kan shele wam o praise to you how ba shim yo shai ba shim no kakadash da ba honest to the apostles and the elders of great millstone and salutations to the hopeful electors pushing his truth for sincerity about my father's business you know and and the question that we need to ask is are you are you truly about your father's business be about it or be gone that's how simple the most high looks at each one of us who is called into this truth to do the will of the most high be about it or be gone let's go to the first scripture it's in the book of luke the book of luke chapter 2 verse uh, verse 49 and he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? We see not that I must be about my father's business. Don't you know that my life evolves around doing the will of the Most High? That's what Jehovah Shai said. Why are you looking for me? You know what I'm about. You know what my purpose is upon this earth. The same thing for those who say that they believe that they're walking, they're disciples, followers of the Redeemer. If you say that you are a follower of a Redeemer, then your eye, your eye needs to be single. You, your focus upon your goal. Let's get that. The book of Matthew. The book of Matthew, chapter six, verse. Uh, starting at verse twenty-one. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Yeah, because your mind, where you focus upon what is continually on your mind, what is the most important thing to do, you're going to be occupied in it. So if you're not busy with serving the Lord, doing whatever the Most High says, putting in work for the Most High, it simply means that your mind, your priority is on something else. It's very, it's very simple. And when after these rebukes come out, then all of a sudden you see all of pe people running, jumping, making fits. But before, before, before the rebuke went out, and you go to certain, certain. Uh, videos or certain certain pages you see for two weeks they didn't do anything weeks five six days and don't come up with your excuses like well it was a strike it was a strike because you know you know how jake is jake jake gonna get wicked with his excuses coming coming up with excuses but you got you got a backup pages and on your backup pages you still didn't put up any videos the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, the whole body shall be full of light. If you focus upon your goal, if you focus on what we need to do, the light is going to be shining, man. That's why we, we have a goal. We all have a goal. Let's get it in the book of Philippians. Book of Philippians chapter 3. The goal is to make it, to go to all tribulations, to all the trials and to be accepted, to be protected by the Most High, to do the will that is well-pleasing unto the Most High. Being found a faithful steward in the eyes of the Most High. That's what it's about. Protecting, you know, shielding, edifying your brothers and sisters. This is what we need to do for Yahweh Bashim Yoshai. And there's no, there's no uh, uh, a break or, 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 or vacations within doing the works unto the Most High. Even though some men might think like, man, I can just take a break. Nobody will notice. In low regions, younger brothers, but you also have those who are longer in the truth. And the thing that you see is with those that are longer in the truth, there is no truly uh, 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 ones that are continually watching them. Certain people in leading role positions, man. And the younger brothers ain't saying anything because they, 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 they just go along with the same vibration, the same energy that is being put out, is being followed. I ain't making a video so I don't have to make fits. And the correction, the rebuke is not coming out because many, many are afraid, afraid to open up their mouth or they will look, or they will look at a younger brother that is on fire. Oh, that man think he's something. He trying to, he, he, he's showing off. He think he knows it. You, this is the vibration that you will see in these last days. And it's, 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 it's crazy, man. But understand. As long as you keep doing the will of the Most High in fire, dedicated, you know, fervent, the Most High is well pleased with you, man. 
Let nobody, let's get that scripture, let nobody quench your spirit, man. Because you got those types that simply, they ain't really about this. And when they see you fiery hot, they want to quench your spirit, man. While your fire, your dedication should be a motivator for those who, 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 who start to slack or start to focus on the, the unimportant things on this earth, man. In the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse, uh, verse 19. Let's start at verse 17. Pray without ceasing, and that's why you got to pray. Praying is one of the most powerful tools in this truth. Because you're continually being tried. Adversity, temptation, things that's leading your mind astray from doing what you have to do. It's continually war upon this earth, man. So if you don't pray, if you don't do the things, fasting, and all those, those right-hand side uh, 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 use and apply those right hand side tools it's just a matter of time before you will fall out of the truth or you will become unprofitable just do just you're just gonna do all kind of kind of things just to please your own flesh instead of feeding feeding the spirit feeding edifying the brothers and sisters man it says in everything give thanks for this is the will of the Most High in Mashiach Yahushai concerning you. So in everything that we do, we give thanks. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Tawada for waking up. Tawada for putting the Spirit upon me to make these videos. Tawada for the faith, the strong faith that is inside of you to, to pick up the Bible, to read, to read, reading. Reading is the most, one of the most beautiful feeding things that you can do in this, in this truth as well. Stay occupied in reading, feeding on the Spirit. Quench not the spirit when the spirit is on you, showing you like jump and make a video about this. When you make videos and when you keep going, let nobody tell you like man you're doing too much. Let nobody tell you those things, man. But motivate others in that same spirit. If they ain't have a, if they ain't got a topic or something to make about, or video to make about, entice them. Let's make a video about this. But just keep the energy continually going. Keep it going. Because that's what the most I wants to see, man. The book of Philippians chapter 3. Let me start at verse, uh, verse 12. Not as, not as though I had already attained, either be already perfect, but I will follow after that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Mashiach Yahweh Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do forget, I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching on to those things which are before. Yeah, because the, the, the old things are left behind. We became a new person in Yahweh Shai. Let's get it in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Our mind is only focused on getting the kingdom. We don't care about this wicked, phony, filthy, LGBTQ community promoting wicked world, man. Everything that you see upon this earth is just folly. Proud, the mind of people ignorant and proud, aiming at money, aiming to be rich, aiming in the continuation of this wicked place, where everything is already appointed that this place is tumbling down to the ground. But yet you got people focused on trying to build, trying to continue in this wicked empire. It says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, Therefore, if any man be in Mashiach, he is a new creature. We became a new creature in the Most High. Old, old things are passed away. All the old things that we did in the past, smoking weed or doing all those carnal things are passed. passed. That's, that's the old person. Old things become new. You become a new person in Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Walking in the righteousness of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. And all things are of the Most High who had reconciled reconcil us um, to himself by Yahweh Shai Mashiach. And had given us to the ministry of reconciliation, the repairing, the Most High, the Most High. Uh, 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 we got restored unto the Most High to the Redeemer. He is the middleman to be that the Most High was in Mashiach, reconciling the world unto Himself, which is the world of Israel, the Israelites. It's speaking about it's speaking about the Israelites, the the the, the hopeful elect, not imputing their trespasses unto them. And had committed unto him, unto us the word of reconciliation. So we we are being brought back unto the Most High. We being made acceptable. That's that's the adoption. 
we went off, we made mistakes, the Heavenly Father got angry with us. The ultimate sacrifice, Yahweh Shai, to, to bring us back unto the Most High. Now we're back and we do, we do what we have to do. You know? So back in the book of Philippians, chapter uh, verse, uh, verse 14. I press towards the mark of the price of the high calling of the Most High, Mashiach Yahweh Shai. That's you, you, you want that crown. We want to be saved. That's what we aim after, man. The truth that we receive from the Heavenly Father in this present time is the most precious thing that you can receive from Yahweh Bashim Yashai. And then you have those types who just want to slack, don't want to take it serious, you know? Just sitting and not doing what they're supposed to do for the Most High. The book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 11. Behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast, and that no man take thy crown. This truth, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, the faith, the fervent faith that is giving unto us, you have this, and you should not give it away. Let nobody steal it, because what is taking place? Satan desire. Satan has the desire to sift you. Let's see. Oh, and then it doesn't pop up. If I type in sift. Here it is, in the book of Luke, chapter 22, verse 31, it reads, And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan had desired to, to, to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee, that thy faith fail not, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. We, we are sent out to feed the sheep, you know. If you love the Most High, the scripture said, if you love him, feed my sheep. What is what is what is that what is it that Satan is continually doing in order to prevent you from loving Yahweh Bashim Yahushai? Satan is continually there to hinder you, to distract you, to keep your mind focused on on on, on bullshit, just straight up bullshit. And that's why I see many brothers not doing what they're supposed to do. They go into into feeding the flesh. They take their hand off the plow. They take breaks. And they and many of them really think that nobody sees them, man. But the most I sees everything, man. That's why the most I puts the spirit on 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 apostles and on brothers to rebuke, to speak about these things, man. But many a times when they hear these videos, they don't want to take heed. But you see, when as soon as as the rebuke comes from the apostles, you see people running, jumping and, and, and making videos. The book of John chapter 21 verse 15 It says uh, So then when he died Jehoshua said to Simon Peter Simon Son of Jonas Lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him Yea Lord Thou knowest that I love thee He said unto him Feed my lambs Feed them And what do you feed them? You feed them with the, with the wisdom, knowledge and understanding man That's what we feed our people with We are giving them the soul food Starting with the milk, the living water, and then slowly you're going, you're going to the, you're moving to the meat. You got brothers in this truth that are already on a level of being mature. You can't, you can't be childish anymore in playing games, you know, tricking and, and, and manipulating others and, and, and giving people the feeling as if you truly are about it. Well, well, you ain't about it, man. The book of Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And that's what we do. We are feeding the sheep, the sheep pertaining unto the Most High. We are feeding them with knowledge and understanding. Because wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability in those times. You got you to gotta prepare them for what is about to take place upon this earth, man. And that's what we do. We do it and we walk in it. We apply it. We teach it. We about this, man. And anybody that is saying that you ain't about it, man, you check them out. You scope them out and you're going to find out who is truly about it, man. The book of Isaiah chapter 33 verse 6 And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. You see, so when you build our brothers and sisters up with the way of the word, you prepare them for the horrific, dreadful times that are about to come upon this earth, man. This this ain't no game. If you want to play games, then you go play games and you you, you town death. 
but don't act as if you are about it. And when people look and listen and you, 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 you give people, you set an example as if it is acceptable to just play around and just to goofball with this truth. We are serving the most important, the highest power, the king of the universe, man. People don't take these things serious, man. But when they have to go to work, you don't you don't play games like ah oh, man I'm not going to work this I'm just gonna take three days off without without even mentioning the Most High, or oh, oh, Salakiam, I'm just gonna take certain days off, not going to my work or just not caring about that. Those those things they take serious, but when they need to serve Yahweh Bashim Yeshai, you see people playing games. Because the sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. People think they can do these things. But the Lord sees everything. Everything is being reported. All, all, your, all your, your monkey monkey shit is being seen by the Most High. All the trickery that people have upon this earth is being seen by the Most High. Verse 16. He saith unto him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, feed my sheep. He said, he said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh said unto him, feed my sheep. Which means you got to feed them. Why is it being stated three times? Go and do it. Don't come up with your excuses, man. Well, I got to do this. I'm busy with that. Um, the, you know how it goes, man. The, 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 let's get that scripture, man, in the book of Luke. There's a one, another one with uh, the excuses. Let me see if I can find it, man. People will come up with excuses. Where's that one? Excuses. In the book of Matthew. Uh, is the Matthew 8 and 21? Let me see. Matthew 8. Because that's what you will see with people, man. They will come up with excuses. Is it here? Here, here, here. Discipleship tested. And the Lord, is con the, the Lord is continually testing you. What is important for you? Feeding the flesh or walking in the spirit and, and, and serving the Most High? Let me see. It, oh, it's not here. I was actually looking for the one this man said the very letter I was actually looking for the one I have a excuse let me see something in the way like pray pray I pray thee to 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 have me get excuse here in the book of Luke Luke 14 a slagje for, for, for the time for looking up the scripture, man. Well, it just came into my mind and I couldn't truly really formulate that uh, the scripture that I was looking for. But here, the parable of the, of the dinner. Verse 16, Then he said unto him, a certain, man, a certain man made a great supper and bade many, which, is, which the preparation is, being take pla is, is taking place right now. And sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. Where you look at, hey, the scripture says, Hey, the kingdom is already prepared, watch. And they and they all, with one consent, began to make excuses. And that's the mind of Jake, man. Jake will come up with excuses. I got to do this, I'm working. Oh, my wife, man. Man, I'm tired, I had to do this for quite some time. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground that I must needs go and see, and pr I pray thee, have me excused. Another said, I have bought the five yoken of ox, and I have go to prove in them. I pray thee, have me excused. And another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I cannot come. 
So they they deem these things more important than the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yishai's business. So that the servant came and shewed his Lord these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servants, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the halt and the blind. You see, and that's why the Most High is going to relocate the focus. That's why anything is coming in right now, man. Because the Most High is reaching out for the for the for the lowly, the other low, the true lowly, man. And I already made a video about about poverty, you know, about the mind of of those that are truly poor and how they are truly uh, uh, in in a spirit of meekness, which is well pleasing unto the Most High. So in the book of Luke, chapter six. Six and uh, what is it? Uh, it's in it's in Luke six too. I thought it was in six. Thought it was in six. Wow. Bear with me. I thought it was in the book of in the book of Luke. He that take it. Most likely I read over it, man. It's hand of the plow. Look oh look nine. Thought it was six. The book of Luke. The book of Luke, chapter 9, verse 62. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, Nay, no man, no man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the most high nobody that is in the spirit of lot's wife is 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 fit for the kingdom nobody that is entangled with the affairs of this world in the book of second timothy is fit for the most high that's why the scripture says you got to be single eyed you got to be focused upon the right things second timothy chapter 2 verse 4 no man that word entangled himself in the affairs of this life that he may please him who had chosen him on to be a soldier you know to folk to be focused on the most important thing the elder apostle used the word obsessed in the scripture it speaks about which is another synonym it speaks about being addicted you got to be addicted onto this truth you wake up you think about this truth this truth is everything for you man first corinthians 16 1 Corinthians 16 and 15, I beseech you, brethren, you know the you know the house of Stephanus, that is the first fruits of Achaia, and that they have addicted themselves to the ministry of the saints. We have addicted ourselves to the ministry of the saints. You wake up thinking about the most time. You know, showing gratitude for waking up, praying unto the Heavenly Father to for forgiveness and that He will put the Spirit upon you, that He gives you the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to make edifying videos. That's, that's what you pray unto the most high. When you pray, you pray for, for mercy. You pray that the Heavenly Father accounts you worthy. You pray that the Heavenly Father gives you the strength to continue to keep warring upon this, upon this battlefield, man, because it's a war. There's so many forces warring and battling against you, trying to keep you away. So you got to be fervent. You got to be fervent, man. Because being fervent is the only way of surviving in this wicked place. Being, being fire, burning everything down that, that dares to come up against you, man. The book of Romans chapter 12 verse 10. Be kindly affectioned one, one to another with brotherly love. You got a brotherly love amongst your brothers, man. You motivate, you encourage each other, man. You're trying to bring out the best out of the next brother beside you, man. That's that's the energy that you're moving in. Because you understand like how you are on the attack and how you're trying to maintain yourself. The next brother is trying to maintain and keep himself strong as well. You got to keep feeding them, feeding them the the, 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 the the right food, the right things to keep that fire burning, man. To stay fighting. You can't fall asleep. Even in the world, they say sleep is the cousin of death. You know, fast asleep, 
You can't slumber in this wicked world world we're living in, in, in this war, in this battlefield, man. You know, in, in honor, preferring one, uh, preferring one another. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. You got to be fiery hot for your Hawa Ba'ashim Yashai. When you serve Him, when you, when you, when you go into it, man. This, the, the spirit is, the spirit is fire. The word is fire. So every time when you go into these things, it is a fiery spirit that is truly pushing the word of the Most High. We push life upon this earth. While the wicked rulers are pushing pollution, death and confusion towards our people, man. We are the true healers, the true peacemakers, man. The scripture says the meek shall inherit the earth. So those that are truly doing the will of the Most High in meekness, they are going to inherit the earth, man. So keep doing what you got to do for the Most High and, stop, and, don't, and don't stop. Let nothing hinder you. You know, what's the scripture say? Who did hinder? Who did hinder? Let me get that scripture, man. I haven't brought that one out in quite a time, but I think it will pop up if I type in hinder. Uh, is it in Philippians or in Corinthians also? Timothy. Galatians. Let me read it from Galatians. Galatians 5 and, uh, 5 and 7. Ye did run well. Who did hinder you that ye should not obey the truth? Yeah, because it's just a race, man. We are running. And you run, you run with, 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 with wisdom. This is not running light speed, trying to be as fast as possible uh, of finishing. Because he that runs too fast is going gonna, is gonna, you know, is gonna, is gonna to run out of gas. So you run, and you run, you run, you run with, with, with wisdom. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast and you remain steadfast, which means consistent. When you surf, you keep surfing. There's no surfing and then stopping with surfing. Today you have King's Day. You did uh, my mind my mind ain't upon upon King's Day, man. People drinking, getting drunk, being in some nationalistic uh, 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 spirit towards towards this this wicked ass monarchy. Man, I don't I don't care about this wicked place, man. My mind is focused on doing whatever it takes to contribute onto the destruction of this wicked empire. That's where my mind is, man. That's where, where all the brothers' mind is at, man. You want Babylon to be destroyed, you want your righteous kingdom to be established, man. Any day longer in this wicked place is hell. Unmovable, man. Nothing is going to move you, man. Back in the days, they were singing that song, We, we shall not be moved, right? Well, we shall not be moved in doing the will of the Most High, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yashai. No matter how many evil and difficulty and temptation and trials and testing and hinder Satan brings, we shall not be moved in doing the will of the Most High. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. When you read always, it means always. There is no break. You're continually occupied. And there are many ways of being occupied in doing the will of the Most High. There are many ways of doing the will of the Most High. You make your videos, you do your reading, you do your studying... You being in holy conversations, you do your prayers, you do your fasting, you do all the things that is required in maintaining that spirit, that, that fiery spirit of going, man. You're not gonna take your breaks and think like you're already good, or oh, nobody's gonna notice me that I take breaks. You got you got wicked people like that, man. Man, I'm I'm already in a position where nobody can tell me nothing. You better believe you got the, those types in this truth. In places where they really think that no one, no one can tell them anything. And when you tell them things, which is beneficial for them, they're trying to find fault in you. Well, you think you will do, you think you think. But that's why the most, that's why the most high is going to take action against people, man. Certain people, certain people don't, don't want to take, they don't want to take the words. They just want to deal with the way how the most high is going to deal with them. You know? It says, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord, everything that you do for the Most High is not in vain. You do it wholeheartedly with the understanding that the Most High is going to bring everything that you do into judgment. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 10, Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy mind, for there is no work, no device, no knowledge, no wisdom in the grave where thou goest. When you die, you die, it's over. You know, you at rest. 
when you advance there's no there's no labor anymore there's no there's no putting in work the way how you do it right now as you are upon this earth serving the living power so when you have the chance to do it do it right now don't 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 go up in a tearing you know pro pro uh uh, uh um procrastinating you know delaying and all type of things coming up with excuses don't be in that spirit be in the spirit of fearing the lord be in the spirit of feeding feeding your sheep be in the spirit of continually being occupied about the prophecy being well aware of the time that we're living in and preparing preparing those that that may not be aware building up those that that may just enter in the truth but any video that you make is also building you brothers that have been in the truth anybody that hears or sees your videos it's all about making you stronger it's building you stronger that's where it's about so you're an example you're an example upon this earth man and you want to be a righteous example a, de a dedicated a fervent example not not no slothful uh, a double-minded example the book of revelation chapter 3 verse 15 i know thy works that thou art neither cold nor hot i would that thou wert cold or hot for them because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot i will spew thee out of my mouth you know the most the most tired the most tired about you being cold for this truth lukewarm the lord the lord ain't looking for lukewarm half stepping uh, 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 types that say that they are prophets that they serve the lord no man the most time looking for those types the most time is looking for those men that are dedicated diligent they give themselves over to the ministry this is their life anything anything outside of this is nothing for them they counted nothing but dung this was the scripture said paul said it man anything outside of this truth we counted but dung Let's get it in the book of, uh, I believe it is in Second Peter. Second Peter one verse, uh, verse ten. Therefore, the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, ye shall never fail. Ye shall never fail if you remain doing what you're supposed to do for Yahweh Bashim Yashai. This is the most important thing that you can do. There's nothing more important than serving Yahweh Bashim Yashai, man. There's nothing more important than serving Yahweh Bashim Yashai upon this earth, man. But yet the mind of those are upon other things. You know? So yeah, man. Hey, this is what I. Uh, I'm. Let me just keep it like this, man. Remain diligent. Do your things, as the time is still given unto us to do what we can do for the Most High. Because you don't want to lose. You don't want to lose your your crown. You don't want to be in this in this race. And that the Most High decides, like, man, you ain't about this. So let me take your talents and give it to somebody that is about it, man. Because that's how the Most High deals with you, man. And you don't want to you don't want to get tossed to the side out of this truth or that the most tight takes the holy spirit from you you don't believe in it you just become a bug out you just go into the world you really believe that there's something in the world you want to build you want to make a career or whatever the fuck that people think that is in their mind to go back into the world because the world the world is finished it's over it's done it's finito it's 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 done man what the fuck you want to do in the world man there's nothing Music is garbage. Movies, the the, the entertainment, the, everything is garbage. Just straight up doo doo, man. You know the episode from South Park where, when I believe it was Carl. Carl reached the age, and when he was looking around, and everybody was just straight up shit. Shit came out of their mouth. Shit music. Shit. Everything was straight up shitty. Straight up doo doo. That's this world. It's just, it's just total garbage that is being produced, that is coming and, and being given unto the people, man. Everything is mourning upon this earth. But yet you got people having having heavy demonic spirits upon them, where they think that they can, can build something in this place, which is bound to be destroyed. The, the, let me end up with this, man. 1 Corinthians 9 and 24. Know you not that they which run in a race run all, but one receive the prize, so one that you may obtain. Go for it, man. 
go for it and go with wisdom for the thing that you're trying to obtain don't run like like light speed road runner style and then you just burn you you get a burnout man you run you change your pace but you keep moving you keep moving and every man that strives it for the mastery is tempered in all things now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown but we an incorruptible crown you know we want that incorruptible crown man we don't we don't we don't take we don't we don't take no joy <laughs> in in that consolation like, let, let's get that man you got people going into the world bowing down selling their soul casting their bows to the side bending over and just 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 giving up their manhood for for riches and fame for consolation but our spirit ain't about that man we don't want no consolation we go for gold we, we don't want this <laughs> you know that song from um uh ah man i cannot come up on a name anymore man but we want gold man the book of luke chapter 6 verse 24 but woe unto you that are rich ye have received your consolation yeah people people have money people do wickedness people are boasting man i got paper man i got paper stacking to the roof you got your bitcoins you got your car you got your 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 yacht you got your mansion you got you got whatever you're boasting with but how much of it is going to maintain when the lord is coming back how much of it you're going to enjoy when this whole system is about to collapse when they're going to introduce the, the, the microchip. You know, all everything is going to change. The way how people are living right now upon this earth, existing upon this earth, is going to change drastically. People are going to experience pain, agonizing plagues by the will of the Most High. And many of them don't know. Many of them are so blinded that they they really think that everything is just going to continue. This, this, this foolish... Edomite circus is going to continue forever while the Most High is already busy with taking down this 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 wicked ass place, man. The Lord is already busy with taking it down. But yet you got people running, thinking like, man, we're going to make it. I want to make it. Every man that strives it for the mastery is tempered in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown. That's a consolation, but we an incorruptible crown. That's that crown which we're going to receive you know, receiving those palms, the ones that strive for this ministry, for this truth, you know, on that high mountain, bowing down in the Jehovah Shai, putting that crown upon your head. That's what we want. Nothing else, but we want that. If therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that be beat the air. Yeah, because you got people, you got people that simply don't know how to, how to fight, man. You don't know how to fight. You get you get a little bit of difficulty, they experience a little bit of pain, a little bit of backlash, one misfortune, and they just they just fall and they just they they start to bitch about the most pettiest things, man. But anytime when I also say and I speak with brothers, you complain about things, but things could be way worse, man. You being without lag, you be you being you being totally blinded. Being, being, being in, in a hospital bed where you couldn't move. You couldn't speak. You're just laying there. You could have a certain disease where you continually experience pain in your body continually. There, there are things. And brothers, certain brothers have ailments. We have ailments. I speak, I have my, I got ailments. You know? But as, as, as we enter into this truth, you learn to suck up things, man. It doesn't profit anybody to continually be in the spirit to complain about you yeah, man this pain is this it got this man and fuck this man fuck that man you ride until the wheels fall off that's that's the the spiritual way of going for your how about shimisha you ride this thing until the wheels fall off there's no other way of doing things upon this earth man that's not going in the world and trying to think like, man, I'm going to make me some money. Then I'm going to spend and go to Las Vegas. I'm going to get me these chicks and then I'm going to chill. And I'm, man, the hell with all those things, man. The only thing that counts is serving Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Getting the mercy from him from what, for the destruction that is coming upon this earth, man. But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection. Lest by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should become a castaway. 
You see, so you, you remain serious in what you do. The scripture says, search out your own salvation with fear and trembling. As we walk, we trying to protect ourselves in the things that we do. And you're going to experience things. You're going to see things. You're going to hear things. You're going to deal with injustice. But the way how I move upon this earth, man, I leave it in the hands of the Most High. I'm not going to go back and forth with people anymore, man. I leave everything that is being said, that is being done, that is being created, that is being falsified, this, anything, anything, I leave it into the hands of the Most High and I will keep writing for you. How about Shimei Shai? I'll keep writing. And Lord willing, the Most High keeps me writing for Him. Because this thing is about being sincere and truly being about this. And the most I know is your heart. Let nobody convince you about, no, I don't like this, this. Fuck that shit. You do what you got to do for the most high. And the Heavenly Father will see deep inside of your heart if you truly are about this, man. And anybody, anybody is going to get his pay. Anybody is going to get his pay. Like I said, many may trick, may manipulate, may trick others and convince others in, in, in the things that they do. But the Lord is going to search any person out in this truth. Anyone. Anyone will be searched out. And the Heavenly Father is going to take action against them. Man. So hey, stay occupied in serving the Lord. Be about, your, be about your Father's business or be gone. Shalom.